Um, I went to Shattuck St. Mary's uh, my junior and senior years in high school. Uh, I played my junior hockey in Salmon Arm, British Columbia for the Silverbacks, and then went on to go play uh, college hockey at the University of North Dakota from 2005 to 2009. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is my mom is from Roseville, Minnesota. So I've known about high school hockey and Minnesota hockey all my life. Uh, in fact, it was uh, always a plan of mine. I would come down to Roseville in the summertime and go to the hockey school, and the original plan for me was to come down and play high school hockey for the Roseville Rams. Um, didn't end up going that way, but like I said, I always knew about Minnesota hockey, and I knew how special Minnesota high school hockey was. Um, the things are not like this everywhere. Um, growing up in Western Canada, none of my classmates went to my games. They didn't care. Uh, hockey isn't a high school sport in Western Canada. I played for my association or a quadrant. Um, we were lucky to have 100 people at our games, uh, mostly family and friends, and that's kind of what makes Minnesota high school hockey so special. Uh, you're playing for something bigger than yourself. You're playing for your school, you're representing your town, uh, or where you grew up. People care about what you're doing. That's a privilege. Um, that's why it's such an honor for me to speak in front of this group. This group here, they're the leaders of this very special and unique thing. Um, that you shouldn't take for granted. You should be very proud of this recognition and this accomplishment. This is something you can carry with you, with you for the rest of your lives. Um, you've been recognized for your coachability, strength of character, integrity, commitment, teamwork, community leadership, and outstanding sportsmanship, which are all attributes that will be beneficial for you going forward. Um, that's what's so great about the game of hockey. It teaches you many different skills that are useful in many walks of life. I hope everyone in this room continues to play hockey at the highest possible level that they possibly can. But the honest truth is the game competitively ends for all of us. And you're going to ask yourself kind of what's next. Uh, I faced that question in 2019. Uh, Corey mentioned I played uh, 10 years of professional hockey. I had no idea what I was going to do next. Um, I had played hockey since I was three years old. It's all I had really known. Uh, what I quickly realized was how much the game of hockey prepared me for the next stage of my life. My former teammates and coaches became my network. When I was at my most vulnerable, vulnerable, people who cared for me were willing to show me and lend me a helping hand. That summer, I landed my first job interview ever at a wedding of my best friends who I met through hockey. This led to my first job offer, I accepted that offer, and the next stage of my life got rolling. Once I started my new job, I couldn't believe how many skills and attributes that I learned from the game of hockey were transferable. Little things that some people take for granted, like being on time, remembering someone's name, looking someone in the eye when you speak with them, being a good teammate, saying please and thank you, go a long way in business and in life. Everyone in this room is here for a reason. You've earned it. You should be proud of yourselves and celebrate it. Keep leading by example. I'll end things with a few mantras and lessons that I was fortunate enough to learn from some very impactful people along my hockey journey. Start with my mom and dad, um, extended to my wife and my kids now. They taught me is how you invest your time is how you invest your life. You know, my, my mom and my dad would sacrifice so much for me, bring me to the rink. Um, there's no greater gift that you can give another person than your time. Next, another person who had an impact on me was J.P. Parisi, Zach's dad. J.P. Bruce is obviously a great player on his, in his own right, but he was the director of hockey when I was at Shattuck. And he taught us, just be a good guy. Simple as that, be a good person. Coach Tom Ward, he was my head coach at Shattuck. He taught us that the hungriest dog runs the fastest. And it's more important to be a good person than it is to be a good hockey player. And then next, another coach who had a huge impact for me, he happens to be coaching the Seattle Kraken tonight, um, Coach Dave Haxtell. He was my coach at the University of North Dakota. He taught us, no matter where you are, make that place better because you are there. Either add to the tradition or help build the tradition. Next, one of my teammates at the University of North Dakota was TJ Oshi. He taught me to enjoy yourself, smile. Hockey is fun. It's tough to beat someone when you're having fun. And lastly, uh, two of my teammates, Jonathan Taves and Sidney Crosby. I played with them both at Shattuck St. Mary's played with Johnny at the University of North Dakota, and they taught me, be extremely driven and competitive. Carry yourself with a quiet confidence. Always believe in yourself. 
Hockey is a full-time job, not just when you're at the rink. There's always more to be done, and you get back what you put into it. You'll never regret committing yourself and giving it everything you have. It's cool to work hard. So, I'll leave it with that. All the best to everyone in this room. Thanks for allowing me to speak to you, and uh, enjoy the night, and enjoy the game. Thank you very much.